Hello everyone, I'm Rupert Goff and today we are talking to all of those people who currently have mortgages and are looking for a better mortgage rate from another bank. We're going to look at what you need to know about interest rates and when it's good to refinance and when it's not a good strategy. But first, if you get any value out of this video at all, hit the like button and the subscribe button. 83% of our viewers aren't subscribing, meaning thousands of people aren't getting notified when we release our weekly updates. Hit subscribe now so you don't miss out. All right, let's get into it. So you've got a fixed term interest rate maturing soon and the bank or your broker has sent you some interest rates. Maybe your current bank is offering 0.1% higher than another bank in the market. Should you refinance your mortgage to get a better rate? Before we can answer that question, we need to consider how much of a difference the interest rate difference will make. In theory, it should always make sense to move to a cheaper bank. However, even with very large borrowing numbers, the first calculation we need to do is to find out whether it is worth the bother. A rough back of the envelope calculation is that for every 0.1% differential means for every $100,000 that you owe to the bank, you will pay approximately $100 per year or just under $2 more per week. In other words, a $700,000 mortgage would save $700 per year by moving to another bank that was offering 0.1% less. If the difference is 0.2%, it might start to get a little more tempting at a saving of $1,400 over the year. That's not chump change. For most people, they'll need to earn an extra $2,000 before tax to pay for that $1,400 per year. But there's just one thing to remember first. You'll remember when you bought your last property that you needed a solicitor to review the mortgage documents as well as updating the title of the property. This is true when refinancing too. The typical cost for a solicitor to refinance a mortgage ranges from about $1,500 upwards, and that would be a good estimate for most houses. In the example above, the savings for a $700,000 mortgage with a 0.2% cheaper rate was $1,400, meaning you wouldn't even break even by refinancing. In other words, all of the benefits you'd get from refinancing are eaten up by solicitor costs, at least in the first year. This is before you even account for the value of your time for applying for a mortgage and swapping all your accounts over to the new bank. And speaking of time, we need to look closely at the timing around financing. Advertised interest rates from the bank are subject to change without notice. In fact, banks specifically don't give notice to avoid huge rushes to lock in a lower rate. Imagine if the public heard an interest rate was going up tomorrow at a bank. Every applicant would try to call that bank that day. Interest rates announcements are typically done at 5pm, in other words after hours, and are enforced from that day. The problem here is that mortgages take a couple of weeks to process. By the time you've got all the documents together, submitted your full statement of position to the bank and waited for them to approve the loan, it's likely any interest rate differential could have moved or even reversed completely, wasting your time. Chasing an advertised rate at another bank can often be an exercise in futility, as rates change very, very often. So when should you refinance? It is a relatively common occurrence, so why are people changing their mortgages to another bank? Obviously there is a time when it might be worth considering refinancing, but it isn't because one bank is offering a slightly cheaper interest rate. The answer is cash contributions. Hopefully when you first joined your current bank, you received a cash contribution. There are a couple of reasons why you may not have received a cash contribution, usually if you're borrowing more than 80% of the value of the property, or less commonly, if the bank forgot to offer it. The cash contribution is a lump sum of cash that thanks you for joining the bank and almost all of the major lenders offer it. In amongst all those documents that you signed, you will have signed a document to say that if you leave the bank within X number of years, you will need to repay this cash amount back. Typically the number of years is three to four years. But if you've been with the bank for longer than that, you can refinance to another bank who will now offer you a new cash contribution to come across to them. To use the example from earlier, a $700,000 mortgage will save $1,400 in interest, assuming 0.2% savings, and you'll have to pay a solicitor around $1,500 to refinance. However, your new bank should offer you about $4,900 in cash to come over to them. That's a total benefit of $4,800 for refinancing the $700,000 mortgage. Assuming the homeowner is out of the contract repayment period for their current bank, this may be enticing to move across to a new bank. 
If you're considering this strategy, the first thing to do is to give your bank the opportunity to retain you as a customer. Some banks have a specific retention team set up specifically for this purpose. If you get some extra cash, then you've got some benefit without needing to change banks. If the bank can't accommodate you, then it's time to shop around. Refinancing brings the opportunity to restructure your mortgage to suit your current financial situation. It may be that the new bank has a slightly more suitable way of paying down your mortgage more quickly, for example. Overall, assume that refinancing your mortgage will take up about five or six hours of your time. If the cost and benefit of moving banks is, for example, $5,000 or $6,000, then your payment for your time is $1,000 per hour. If that's worth it for you, then consider talking to your bank and then either talking to a broker or shopping around the banks for a good deal. I'm Rupert Goff. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.